What's happening shrimp tank people? It's Mark back here from the shrimp cupboard and I've made a start as you can see on installing the tanks. I can't video it sadly because my tripod's not tall enough and it's a nightmare trying to work with one hand and a camera in the other hand. So I've speeded it up a bit for you. Here's the two tanks I've put on there and I've got my other lights running through. If you come around this side now we've got We've got a tank here, and we've got a tank down below as well, which I've rigged up down there. Just put all the black backgrounds on them, and they're looking quite sweet, I think. Got all the walls done as well in this um, plastic um, shiplap, it's called, I suppose, um, with my bank of sockets up there, which I've put in all the, uh, which I've cut around. And uh, got the other lights there, and I've just done all the wiring up through here for the lights through these conduits to tidy it all up a bit. And um, yeah, quite happy with today's work. Well, sorry, today and yesterday, I didn't do it that quick, but um, here yeah, the lighting I've got an AI Sol, my rack illuminations, two of those. Downstairs, we've got a full spectrum um, Aqua Medic, I think it is. Full spectrum LED, and here I've got a max spec 85 watt LED over this tank. Um, it's not going to stay that way. I've got to make up another bracket for it because it's uh, it's not reaching properly. So uh, where you see the two little holes there and there, I'm going to have to get some aluminium rods and create some longer sliders on there. I've got my air pump and all my bits and bobs and some sockets down here which is going to run all the air filters. And the red line that you see coming through here is, if I can get in and get it, and put it up the top for you, if it'll stay put. There you go. I've got this uh, float valve which I can clamp onto the side like this do that up nice and tight and then we get this one here and we screw this guy on here which is amazing because now all I have to do is go in my shed turn it on can do that if you like. Do that up nice and tight there. Okay, now we can go. Bear with me, I'll be back in a second. I'll show you in the shed now. Okay, now we're in the shed. There's the RO machine. I've just put uh, some new canisters in there. We've got a normal paper roll in that one there, we've got a carbon block in this one and we've got some RODI resin in the uh, in the last chamber there. And that comes down here through that mass of black pipes along here to my tap there along the floor and I've got that going through here sneaky old socket which I used to have in the shed so if we turn that on Oh, that's stiff. Bloody hell. Stay with me. Okay. And now we come back up here. And we turn that one on there. Ah, look at that. I wonder where my old uh, bait catapult went. Hide in there it is. Right, so we can turn that one on. Actually, while we're in here, I'll show you the koi. Come this way. Hey, hello my little darlings, you going to come and say hello? Come on then, come and say hello. So looking forward to the summer now, we can get back outside and start feeding these and 
having a couple of beers of an evening watching these guys swimming around right let's go back to the uh, to the shrimp cupboard now okay we're back and as you can see now the RO is starting to come through it's great because I can just go to sleep now tonight leave this running and in the morning it'll be nice and full and obviously as the water level rises the float valve lifts and stops like that and then all I just do is move it onto the next tank and repeat the process and there you go it just keeps coming out I've got some media as well I've got some soil for these tanks Um, I can't remember which type it is I bought now. I think it was JBL Pro Soil, I think Pro Scape, um, which I'm going to use in these two top tanks. This one and this one. I've sealed up the holes in the base. Oh, sorry, it's a bit bright. I've sealed up the holes in the base of these of these tanks because um, they used to run a sump underneath when it was marine. And so I've got a lot of extra holes, so I've just cut some small panes of glass, little squares, silicone them over the patches, <clears throat> and um, and that should do the job nicely. That's been going off for a couple of days now, so... Uh, and with this tank down here, we're going to have a different media in there for a different type of shrimp. And I'm toying on this tank what to do with it so far. This is an eight, uh, 3 foot 18 by 18 inch, which is a nice size. That again as well, had a, hooked up to a to a different system, so I've had to uh, cover the holes up. So I'm going to be running all air filters on these, and maybe some corner sponge filters, I'm not sure yet. Going to build some in, somewhere I can hide the heaters behind and, and all that stuff. Uh, what else? Not a great deal happening yet, apart from that, I'm afraid, so far, but... Uh, it's coming together. I'm happy with the progress so far. Anything you think I should do, drop me a message in the comments below. The most appreciated. Cheers for all the subscribers that have subscribed to me so far. You're all fabulous. And it's nice to see you hit up and have a look at the new videos that, I, that I'm putting on. Um, I'm going to put some plants in here I think as well. Different types of plants. I've been hanging them up and uh, I think up in here in this little low energy bulb here I'm going to put a grow lamp up there so uh, some of the plants above they can get some light as well and uh, yeah look forward to doing a bit more work on there I'll update you on the system again when I've done a bit more and um, and yeah and thanks for watching thanks for tuning in please like share and subscribe if you're new to the channel I've got lots of other videos on here as well um, over different things, we've got aquascapes, uh, obviously the pond, if you want to see how the pond was constructed there's a slideshow on that and there's also a walkthrough as well if you want to see that. Um, go and see the other videos, they're all up there. Right, cheers guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Shrimp Covered episode, bye for now.